Jesus Christ. And as we've been doing it all the time, or from the previous weeks, we've been studying, and the topic is praise and worship. Praise and worship in His presence. We began by teaching or sharing the meaning of praise. And we said that praise comes in three forms. That is to recommend or to commend. Secondly, to express approval. And then thirdly, to show glorification, to admire a personality or somebody. When you combine all this together, it means praise. Praise. And we also learned that praise and worship, they are interrelated. And worship simply means after you have you have boasted, you have recommended, you have expressed approval of what God has done before, what he can do, and what he is going to do. After you have admired him, you just remember that at first you were in chains, you were in bondage, because in Eden, you exchanged your birthright, and you gave it to the enemy. And so, death became your portion. And then, God in his own infinite mercy brought Jesus. And through that, he used his blood as a ransom to pay for all our iniquities. And also to, to, to make it as a reconciliation, as a bridge for us to go back to God. And we also learned that you can, you can worship at anywhere. And also, worship doesn't mean coming to the church auditorium to come and raise your hands and begin to sing. No. Worship also doesn't mean to sing slow songs. We have learned all this. We said that even worship becomes effective when you are in your privacy. And also at Anywhere people will see you. It shows that you obey the commandments and everything that God asks you to do. It is a service and it is your responsibility. <clears throat> also, we learned about the purpose. The purpose. Why praise and worship came into being. And also, we went to, uh, uh, to study the topic aiding. And we came back to, to learn that God wants his children, his family, he wants a family, all his children to come together to be under his feet and not as his servants, but children. And then from there we learned about Judah, the meaning of Judah. And also, we talk about how Leah gave birth to four sons. The first three, he gave names which, which uh, 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 signifies mockery to the sister. But the last one, whom he called Judah, God came in and so many prophecies were given about Judah. Then we came to why? We worship. Today, we are doing evaluation. And as I've been doing all the time, today, I am not alone. I have some personalities with me. We are all here to do the evaluation, especially my papa will come just now to come and expatiate on whatever we have learned and then we move on to the main worship. 
May God be praised. Papa, I will, I will love if you come in here. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. If this is your glory, if this is your power, if this is your presence, let it rain. Come on, let's sing together. If this is your glory. And I believe that God will bless somebody today. Amen. Now we all talk about worship. As my dear son has uh, you know, been teaching you for the past weeks. Some people think that worship is when you come into the presence of God. When you go into church, uh, you, uh, you begin to sing and you raise up your hands. And some may be crying and not even not knowing uh, what to do. But actually and timidly, they are not near to God. Now, let's start, I mean, they started with, uh, you know, talk about Garden of Eden. And I want to expand something here, try to give you the insight how the thing happened. Why we should worship. Mm -hmm. Why God needs worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, he has already talked about it the last weeks. I don't want to go back in, into that. I was not here, but I, I watched the video and I saw that what was being taught. Now, the Bible said... God created Lucifer, and you have learned that according to Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 1 to 14 down. He created him special for worship. When we go there, we see that the day that he was created, he was anointed and gave the authority to go into the presence of the Most High Lord. The Bible says, this person, personality, may I call him person, was made different from other angels. He was made of gold, diamond, topaz, emerald, matching all the precious elements or minerals in this world. God created this man called Lucifer purposely to sink to his glory. You have been going into the presence of the Lord every day. And now listen, when Lucifer stands there to, 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 to sing mm -hmm. or to worship, Lucifer didn't need any instrument. Hallelujah. Nowadays when we go to church and the organist is not there, guitarists, the congas and the drummers, they are not there or they didn't come or they don't come. You see that the whole atmosphere changes. Man cannot worship God alone. By singing, even without playing any instrument. <clears throat> Last time I was preaching somewhere in America, and I was telling the people that when Jesus Christ was on the desert preaching, he didn't need any instrument, but the people listened, and they also worshipped God. Hallelujah. So it means that worship must come from within. So God created Lucifer personally, that he will come in his presence every morning, and that is why he is called the morning star. Yeah. That every morning he goes into the presence of the Musa. And the billions of angels on the left on the right, they will bow down and worship him and say, Hallelujah, praise be to our Lord Elohim. This thing continue until, as you learned, one day something happened. And this is not what we are going to speak about it today. The spirit of arrogance, we don't know where it came from, but entered Lucifer. And as a result, he was brought down. But the Bible said, he wants to be like God. You see, when the spirit of arrogance enters you, most of the time you think you are better than anybody. Mm. And all the time you want to be the height, or I mean at the higher top. Mm. 
The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12. We read something from there. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12. Uh-huh, let's go. Mm-hmm. How art thou fallen? How art thou fallen? From heaven. From where? From heaven. heaven. Oh uh-huh. Lucifer. Oh Lucifer. Son of the morning. You see, son of the morning star of God. Uh-huh. How art thou cut down to the ground? Ground, yeah. Which did weaken the nations. Uh-huh. For thou hast said in thine heart. You said in your heart. I will ascend into heaven. I will go up. I will ascend into heaven to the throne of God. Uh-huh. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation. Yeah. In the size of the north. Oh. Hey. Now. 14. Uh-huh. I will ascend above, above the, the heights of the clouds. clouds. Uh-huh. I will be like the most high. You see, I will be like the most high. God has created you. He didn't create any angel like him. Special. You see. So now, sometimes when God brings us to a certain level, we forget where we came from. Who made us like that? Hmm. There are some people they become mentor to you, but a time will come that you have that anointing. Sometimes you like to even unseat that person and go and see, sit in his throne or whatever he says. Hmm. The Bible said, Lucifer said it in his heart. There I will ascend to heaven. Hmm. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. Mm. And I will sit enthroned on the mountain of the assembly, mm. on the utmost heights of the sacred mountain. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the Musa. Mm. So when the thing came, we read from Ezekiel chapter 28, that the Bible said Lucifer was not permitted. Why? Because we all know, we are not going over there, that he gathers one third of the angels, they supported him, and he was, he started fighting with the angels of God, which Michael, the archangel, the Bible said, defeated him, and he was thrown out. Now, because of worship, God needs worship. Now, we can pray, we can do everything. When we pray, we are asking God of something. But when we worship God, we are, you know, exalting Him, telling Him who He is. Most of the time, when people begin to worship, they, they make it themselves as if they are asking God something. They tell it to praise. But the real worship is not about asking God anything. Just go in His presence and say, I am nothing before Thee. I give everything that I have unto you, Lord. The Bible said that man was thrown away. And therefore, after the fall of Lucifer, mm-hmm. you all learned, I mean, you have been taught already, that God said, let's make man like our image and likeness, according to Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. So God created a man, and that man is Adam and Eve. Eve. Because of worship, first was Lucifer, and then the second one is the Adam and Eve era. But when they came in the scene, I've not read in the Bible where God said that Adam and Eve come and worship me every day. No. No, they didn't say it. God didn't say it. They didn't do that. But rather, God gave everything authority unto them to take care and to tell the land. Mm-hmm. Then there also, since God has made them like, their, like his image and likeness, Lucifer was so jealous and therefore decided that something will be done. I will do everything possible for mankind, Adam and Eve also, to sin and fear God, and God will drive them away. It's because of the same worship. Hmm. Adam's sin was driven away, and we went on. And then we read also that um, after he has convinced Adam, and Adam has sinned against God, because they also wanted to be like God. When Lucifer went there, the day that you eat that fruit, you are going to be wise and you are going to be like God. Like God. 
So this spirit also entered Adam and therefore got through them away. Then the next that came was Cain and Abel. The Bible said, Cain and Abel, they went to worship God by sacrifice. Church, when we talk about worship, it is not only about singing. When we talk about worship, it is about sacrifice. Everything that you have, service, your service, you are giving to God. So, the Bible said when they gave birth to Cain and Abel, we didn't hear of Adam worshipping God. Mm -hmm. But we heard Cain and Abel worshipping through giving or through sacrifice. Maybe God saw the appearance. I mean, maybe Abel and Cain saw the appearance doing that. So they also followed. But their name was not written in that. And the Bible said through this worship and sacrifice, we heard that one worship was accepted. One sacrifice was accepted and the other one was rejected. And this brought hatred. In the same sacrifice. So one beloved, you have to know that God, he cannot do anything without worship. When we worship him, when we pray, God just hears and sends angels to come into our way and help us through the power of the Holy Ghost. But when we worship, God stands from the seat and begin to heal. Now, let's go a little bit further before we enter into, because you have learned it already. Then as we go on, we also came a name called Abraham. God needed worship. So we, we, we learned God blessed Abraham according to Genesis chapter 12 going down as he, he asked him to leave the country the whole this and go to the land that you you know God bless this man and after he had blessed him one day Abraham just stood up and God you have done everything for me I've done every sacrifice but I need a child from you you see because Abraham had covenant with God God decided, this is what I'll do for you, because you obey my voice. And therefore, somebody just came along called Isaac. Now when this Isaac came, Abraham was still worshipping on the mountains, and every time sacrificing and worshipping God. Then one day, God said, there must be a test. Abraham, Take that child, the one you love, although Abraham is man. Take Isaac, go and sacrifice him at the mountain that I will show you. The Bible said, any money they took, you know, their belongings, whatever they have, with the donkey, with the servants, and they started. And after about three days' journey, Abraham saw where he's supposed to sacrifice Isaac. Now, listen carefully. Let's turn to our Bibles to the book of Genesis chapter 22. And then let's go very quick to uh, verse 3 down to verse 5. Genesis chapter 22. Verse 3 to, verse 3 to 5. Verse 3 yeah, to 5. And yes. Abraham rose up early in the morning uh -huh. and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him. Yeah. And Isaac his son, and cleared the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. For then on the third day Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place afar off. Five. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder. And worship. Oh, and, and do what? Come again. No, no, man of God. Man of God, go back, go back, go back. I like that place very much. I like that, that place. Verse 5. Verse 5. Uh -huh. And Abraham uh -huh. said unto his young men, yeah. Abide ye here, Stay with, here. Uh -huh. with the ass, with the donkey, and I 
and the boy and the boy uh -huh. or the lad uh -huh. will go yonder yonder and worship and worship and worship and, and come again to you to you Amen. 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 Now, when you read Amen. the other verse, he says, He said to his servants, mm -hmm. You see, most of the time, Abraham had been going to worship with the servants, with Isaac, and with everything that he had. Amen. Amen. When the day came, God said, at the, After three days, he told the people, his servants, mm -hmm. Servants, this time, we are going to worship God differently. So you are not allowed to come. Hmm. Every day we worship God. But this day, today, we are going to worship God differently, specially. Not every time we worship God, we allow some people, I mean just people to just come in and disturb us. There are times we want to go to the presence of God. We want to feel the power of God. And therefore he says, servants, we are not going to, not because he was going to kill Isaac, and as a result, maybe they will defend. Mm -hmm. But he says, now this is the service I want to do for God. This is the worship I want to do for God. Sacrifice I want to do. So servants, you must stay here with the donkey. Why I and the boy will go over there. We will worship the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then we will come back to you. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen. Every time you worship God, because as he was clapping the mountain with Isaac in here, holding his hand, with the knife and the wood. Did Abraham know that he was going and come back with Isaac again? No. The moment we worship God, God opened our eyes. Mm. And he told the people, we are going and we shall come back again. Did God tell Abraham, Abraham, oh, don't worry, because when you go up there, I have a lamb that has been caught in the thorn of, uh, of uh, you know, the bush. So you are going to use that one as a sacrifice? No. What did he tell? But all Abraham knew and had faith in God that he who has promised, he will do it. So he told the servants, we are going and we shall come back again. Anyone who can stand before, man, uh, before God, can kneel down before God, he can stand up against any man. Anyone who has the spirit of God and hear the voice of God and believe in him and worship him as how he is, he is not afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that fly by day, nor the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor the destruction that lay at noonday. And that's why David said, thousand will fall on my side and ten thousand on my right. It shall never come nigh you. Only with your eyes you look and see ah. the destruction, the wages and the salary of the wicked one. For I trust my Lord and my God. Mm. The Lord stands in His worship. And anytime we worship, anytime we give, you cannot worship without giving. Whatever you have, the body, everything consists of God. Mm. It's for God. Mm. So when I come in the presence, I'm not just coming here just to sing with my mouth. I am coming to do everything. What is Lord, whatever I have, belongs to you. And any time we worship, we, we don't need even to ask God anything. For he knows anything that we need. My dear listeners, maybe you are terrified. Maybe one way or the other you are afraid. But there is a song I would like to sing and give you before we enter into a total worship. Oh, my God. 
praising him. Hallelujah. By lifting his name high. Hallelujah. There is nothing we don't need to pray. We adore him. Oh, he will do it. We must oh, we will lift up our hands and say, Yina, yeah.
in the morning days when we the scriptures know we learn it. We used to sing a certain song that in this darkness, Lord, you are my light. Then he sang, Yes, you may move.
he went into the grave, he met many souls over there. And because he was a light, the Bible said the light will shine in darkness, and the darkness can never come around. They did not allow Jesus to be there because he was shining. They asked him to leave. They sang a song. Oh, what to me, no. Begin to give it your service. 
your worship. When Jesus came, all that he did was to give glory to God. Wherever you are, I don't know. If you don't know Jesus, if you don't know the one we are we are proclaiming, the one we are glorifying, the one we are talking about, the person whom because of him we are here. If you don't know him and you want him to be your, your, your Lord and Savior, wherever you are, you can touch your phone, you can touch your laptop, you can touch whatever. Whatever medium you are using to see me right now. And let's pray. This prayer. Give your life to him. It is because of you. That is why he came to die. And pay a ransom. So we become servants. But by his infinite grace. He changed the servantship. To become adopted children. We became heirs. What is your stand now? The world is dark and he is coming back. What is your take? Also, Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, King of Glory. Also,
Today your people have raised up their hand, they have given their heart, their body, their soul, everything unto you. They have accepted you as Lord and Savior. I pray that God they will never go back to the old system. For behold, a new thing has been found in their life. A new thing, O oh God. Lord, listen to their cry, their weaknesses, and anything that they need in this life. I know that Lord you provide for them. I know the battle is not theirs, but the battle is yours. I pray that, Lord, these people be convicted, Oh God. Bring under your care. Have mercy on them. Wash them, cleanse them. Bring them, Lord, that today they will go back again. Because the devil will speak to their mind. And say, your heavenly father, the one you prefer to go, that's okay. My Lord and my God, let the blessings of heaven be upon these people. Let the dew of heaven fall upon them. Open their eyes to see that, Lord, you love them. You came to die this shameful death. It must not be a useless death. People must be saved. Therefore, look unto them. Those who are willing, even those who are sick, those who are in prison, those who are in hospitals, listening to this broadcast, Father, in the name, Father, in the name of Jesus, Use this Father, medium. Touch, their lives, touch them one by one, oh God. Check their situation. Hallelujah. Let them come and follow you. Hallelujah. And let them say the Lord, hey. you are the God. Father, bless your people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That God you have accepted these people into your kingdom in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I have no
my left hand side here. That is our, our keyboard for today. And his name is Angel. And as you can see, she is doing the angelic work. Amen. By praising God, worshiping the Lord. And I have on my right, my immediate right, that is the major prophet, our papa, prophet Frank Anani. He's our everything. Papa, we bless you. <laughs> God is everything. God is our everything, but physically, I physically, physically. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Father, we thank you that you You're join welcome. us today. You're welcome. To worship the Lord. You're welcome. Thank you. And the man on the other side, the great man, Roger, bless you for coming. And also my sister, Mariama. May God bless you for joining us to worship the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We have our sister Tina. She's not around now. Our brother Seth. And also the cameraman. The man behind everything. <laughs> His name is Brother Jacob. May God bless you also. All that we are saying is that. Praise and worship simply means to bow down and serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, put it in your mind that you are doing it to the glorification of God. May God bless you. May God keep you. Only an eddy, we give the